Dark matter remains one of the more vexing questions in science. We devised all sorts of ways of looking for it, but still have found nothing. In April of 2019, though, a team analyzing data from a dark matter detector called Xenon-1T announced it had witnessed something extraordinarily rare. Xenon-1T was an experiment that's pretty much what it sounds like, an absolutely enormous tank filled mostly with the element xenon, cooled to negative 96 degrees Celsius. While the vat contained 3.2 metric tons of liquid xenon, the experiment had a targeted exposure rate of one metric ton per year, hence the 1T in the name. What were they trying to expose the xenon to? Well, dark matter, obviously, but specifically one favorite candidate for what dark matter could be, called weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. WIMPs are thought to be heavy, slow-moving particles. As the name would suggest, these hypothetical particles don't interact with normal matter much, even though about a billion of them are predicted to pass through each square meter of Earth every second. So the hope is that while watching a gigantic tank of xenon very closely, a WIMP will collide with an atom, transfer some energy to the atom's nucleus, and in turn excite other xenon atoms. The process will release faint signals of ultraviolet light and trace amounts of electrical charge, which can be detected by sensors at the top and bottom of the tank. To make sure the experiment was isolated from sources that could cause false signals like cosmic rays, the xenon was about 1,400 meters beneath a mountain in Italy. Then, just to be safe, the detector was shielded inside a tank of water nearly three stories tall. Once the experiment was set up, it was allowed to run blind, meaning the scientists couldn't access the data of interest until the analysis was done. Now, the results are in. If you couldn't tell by the fact that I'm not wearing my We Detected Dark Matter party hat, we didn't detect any dark matter. Xenon-1T collected data from 2016 to December of 2018 without a whiff of a wimp. But the experiment wasn't a failure. In fact, it saw something that had never been seen before. There are nine isotopes of xenon, and one in every thousand is xenon-124. Xenon-124 was thought to be relatively stable, but would still decay into tellurium-124 by a rare process called two-neutrino double electron capture. This occurs when two protons in the nucleus simultaneously grab two electrons from the nearest shell, turning into neutrons and releasing two neutrinos. As electrons in higher shells cascade down to fill the holes that have been created, they give off X-rays and also free up other surrounding electrons. However, these telltale signs are very hard to detect, as they can be masked by background radiation. So before we could measure it, the half-life of xenon-124, that is the time it takes for half the xenon-124 in a sample to decay into tellurium, was thought to be about 160 trillion years. Xenon-1T was designed to be extremely sensitive and isolated from background sources, and after poring over the data, the scientists noticed 126 instances where the detectors picked up signals that would be matched by the expected Xenon-124's double electron capture. These instances allowed them to calculate how long Xenon-124's half-life actually is. Are you ready? Because it's a big number. Xenon-124's half-life is actually 18 sextillion years. That's 18 with 21 zeros after it, over a trillion times longer than the current age of the universe. That's the longest half-life we've ever directly measured, over now second place Bismuth 209's 19 quintillion years. While Xenon-1T didn't spot a wimp, the team is excited by the discovery of their record-setting half-life. It's not only a feather in their cap, but a demonstration of just how sensitive their instrument is. They're not giving up either. An even bigger tank of about eight metric tons of xenon is being built. While another consolation prize, like the even rarer decay of the isotope xenon-136, would be nice, I'm sure the team is really holding out for signs of a dark matter interaction. And you can bet I'll have my party hat ready if it happens. We don't know how to find dark matter, but hackers know how to find your personal data. That's why I use a VPN. NordVPN has double data encryption, and for a short time, they're offering 75% off a three-year plan at nordvpn.com seeker. This makes your subscription just $2.99 per month, which is an amazing deal to watch shows and events that aren't readily available where I live. And for an added bonus, use code seeker to get an extra month of Nord for free. Experiments with xenon aren't the only way we're looking for the missing mass of the universe. Check out this video on how close we are to finding dark matter. Make sure to subscribe to Seeker to know when we peer even further down into the details of the universe. And as always, thanks for watching.